Recently, a client wanted to know how to add a ConvertKit opt-in form to her WordPress post in multiple locations. When I showed her how to do it, she was very surprised to see how quick and easy it really was. I'm Laura from SolopreneurMentor.com. I have 15 years experience building a web development business from home called D3 Website Solutions. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to install a ConvertKit WordPress plugin and how to connect ConvertKit to WordPress via an API key. It's not that complicated, I promise. Next, I will show you how to copy and paste a short code that you can use in any WordPress post or page that will pull in the form automatically. This video assumes you have a ConvertKit account already. If you do not have one, please see below this video for a link to ConvertKit to check it out. Let's tackle your technology trouble together. The first thing you're going to need to do is to download the ConvertKit plugin. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on Add New for um, installing a new plugin and you're going to type in ConvertKit under the keywords and you want to find the one by ConvertKit. We're just doing the regular one, none of the other ones. And I already have it activated but you would click Install Now and then activate it. Once it's activated, you can go under the settings and go to convert kit and you will type in the API key or not type in but copy and paste the API key and the API key secret um, you will find that by logging into convert kit clicking on your account here and then going to account info you can copy your API key and then click on show to copy your API key secret. Once you've connected your ConvertKit plugin through your API key, you will click on save changes. Now on every post or page that you have, you can um, select a form from a dropdown. So if I scroll down on these, uh, I will have a con convert kit under here and I can choose what form I want to use. It will just pull in all that I have listed in convert kit. That will add it to the bottom of my page. Now if I actually want to put it somewhere inside my page, I just have to go to the form that I want by clicking on the forms and then choosing the particular form that I would like to use and then going to settings, going to embed and then choosing the WordPress option and copying the code that's, that's right here. Now once I copy that, I can then paste it into my document wherever I want that code to go. Simple as that. Once that is done, I will update my post um, or my page. You can do it on either one and the form will start showing on that particular blog post. That's how easy it is to select a form to show up in either the middle of your blog post or page, wherever you want to put it. As many times as you want to put it in there, you can. You just copy that short code over into the WordPress post or page and wherever you want it to show up and or you can select it from the drop down at the bottom of the blog post and it will show up at the bottom as well. We just tackled your technology trouble together. Doesn't it feel good to use technology the way it was intended? Thanks for watching this video and please check out the additional resources listed below and share this video with anyone else who might need technology help too. Please visit solopreneurmentor.com for more tips, tricks, and tutorials on how to use technology to make you more productive while building your business from home.